robot project. So let's show you the materials that you need and I'll give you instructions and then you can get started. You're going to need the robot instruction sheet and it looks like this. You're going to need some graph paper. This is pretty big graph paper and you can use smaller graph paper if you want. You're going to need a pencil of course and you might use a ruler to help you draw straight lines. Once you cut it out or once you're ready to cut it out you'll need scissors and a glue stick. And then you're going to get some construction paper to put your final product on here. On your instruction sheet, you can see instructions for all of the different body parts listed here, one through eight. Uh, let's start with the body. It says we have to have a perimeter of 50 units. You're going to draw a body shape on here that has to be a rectangle that has a perimeter of 50 units. Um, you're going to want to use a pencil, but I'm going to use a marker so you can see. You might also want to use a piece of scrap paper to kind of plan it out ahead of time. So if I'm thinking about a perimeter of 50 units, I might think about maybe having my short sides each be 10 units, then 10 plus 10 would make 20 units, then I know I have to have 30 units between these two in order to make it 50 all the way around. So if these two together are going to be 30, then this one would be 15 and this one would be 15, and all together that would make a perimeter of 50. Then I would draw that on my sheet here. So I'm going to make my short side 10. One, two, three, remember you're using pencil. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to go 15 this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then I can close it up. It would be awesome if you wanted to use a ruler to make sure you have really um, straight lines. And then I think at this point it's going to be really helpful to label them. I'm going to label my short sides are 10, my long sides are 15, and down here in the corner I'm going to write what this is. This is the body, because later I might forget what, what piece was this. And then its perimeter was 50 units, just like that. All right, now I'm going to move on to the next one, make my head and my right arm and my right leg. When you get over here to the ones on the right-hand side, it now tells you an area to use, an area of 15 units. The hands are both going to be 12 square units, but they can't be the same shape. You have to make them different shaped rectangles. So think about the fact, the different pairs of factors you know that can work together to make 12. And same with the feet. They can't be the same size. So now let me work on drawing all of those pieces. All right, you can see here that I made all of my body parts and it really helped that I labeled each one because now when I put it back together, it was easy to figure out where they go. The next step, um, step number nine says the control panel. Right in the middle of the body part, I have to draw an irregular shape. It can't have di diagonal lines and it can't be a rectangle that has a perimeter of 26. So I've already counted 20 lines here. I'm up to 20. Let's go all the way to 26. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So that shape, that his control panel right there has 20, a perimeter of 26. Step number 10 says I'm going to add all his facial features, eyes, mouth, nose, and ears. And then I have to tell the perimeter and the area of it. So for example, if I drew an eyeball that looked like this, then I would figure out the area and perimeter of the outside shape. So his area is one, two square units, and I would label that here, two units squared. Make sure I use units squared when we're talking about area. And then the perimeter would be one, two, three, four, five, six units. Do the same with the mouth, nose, and ears. And then you have a few questions to reflect here. When you're all the way done, make sure you tape or glue this piece of paper to the back of your robot so that I can use this as your rubric to grade it. Have fun!